take a look at the Punk to MPC02 new generation. And today is also the last video of the year. I'll be moving away. This is my last video on this house. And I'm sorry for the last video. The audio was really bad. So I decided to do it in my room that has still a couple of things so that you're able to have better audio. Hopefully this is better audio for the Punk to MPC02 review. But let's get to know the hardware, the software, and also who this device is for. And towards the end, I'll let you in on a couple secrets that we're gonna have for next year. So stay tuned towards the end of the video. Let's talk about the hardware of the device. The hardware is nearly identical to the Punk MP02 old generation. So the new generation improves in a couple of areas. If you're going to go to the website, you can see these areas highlighted and you're going to be able to see a couple of improvements on the software experience, which we'll get to in just a second. The hardware is a little bit better. It's more durable in the keys. So the old keys, are very similar. You will not be able to tell if you are holding one and then holding the other, but the tactability and responsiveness with the software is improved. So the device is still very beautiful to hold. And also you can have an optional case, which I personally prefer. I think it's a good investment. It's a little bit expensive, but I think definitely if you're going to use it as a long-term device, it's going to be worth it. But the major improvements when it comes to the hardware is that this device is now global compatible. So it doesn't matter where you use it, GSM, VoLTE, it will last for a couple of years, probably five, six years compatibility as to the trends that they're going with 5G. So I expect this device to last for a long time. And of course, the software side is going to keep it up, but we're going to get that in just a second. So more global compatibility, no two models anymore. There's no North American, no international model. It's one global model that you can take anywhere, Africa, Asia, Europe, uh, the Americas or Oceania. It doesn't matter where you're at. If you have a GSM SIM with VoLTE, the device will work, which is actually a very good advantage. I wish more devices were like that, but of course there's always hardware differences, but I'm really glad that they have figured out. They also have a new model, which is a blue model. I have the black one. I just opted to get the quick one for, in order to make the review by the end of the year, but there's going to be a new blue version coming out now in January. Now let's move to the software to talk about what are the improvements and whether you can actually notice or not. So first things first, the software is new, technically. It is very similar, it just does not have the BlackBerry services. Now, Punk has developed their own security that is going to develop faster software or better software updates. In the past, they needed to go from their own system, go through BlackBerry, go through their certification program, and after the certification program had passed, then they were able to release the update. And that process was just very long and tedious. Therefore, they're developing their own quote-unquote operating system based on Android with better security called Apostrophe OS, and this one is going to be able to have more security and faster updates. At least that's what they're saying to us. Now, you can definitely see that there is an improvement. The keys are more responsive. The operating system just does not drain as much battery. And it also works very well. Very good phone call quality, very good reliability with text messages, although still no group text messaging. Hopefully that will be addressed in the near future. And Pigeon just runs way better. Before, when I used Pigeon, it was slow and laggy and I did not get the responses on time. And there was like this kind of difficulty getting the Pigeon application to communicate with the internet. Well, not anymore on the Punk MP02 new generation. It is faster. It still has some issues, but it is faster. You're able to, you know, text with your friends, group messages on Signal, and you're able to use it for calls without crashing. So I haven't had any issues so far except, you know, maybe a couple of times it has crash or two, but way more reliable than the old MP02. The old MP02 Pigeon was just not usable. It crashed all the time. The messages were just delayed all the time. But for my unit, at least, it has been a very good experience and good development. So they have improved maybe just a little bit of the version of Pigeon, or maybe just the apostrophe OS is having a better experience than the old BlackBerry services Android operating system that they had but visually it's still pretty much the same. It has compatibility with multiple languages. You can type with T9 or triple click and the experience is very good. I personally enjoy the software of this device and the hardware and I've been using it as my work phone for the past week and a half. So I haven't had any issues. I've been able to call people, message people and have no problems when it comes to this device. Having said that, there is hope that Punk will be able to develop the operating system faster. They don't, they are not going to be going through BlackBerry services and all of their approvals anymore, but instead just shipping over the air updates that are faster to update the operating system for the device and better compatibility and better smoothness with the whole experience. 
And that's the hope. So that brings me to my final point when it comes to who this device is for. Number one, if you don't have a punked MP02 right now, and you think that you only need phone calls, text messages, and signal, no extras. Essentially, it just has alarms and a calendar that you can look at. But again, you cannot put any events or reminders into that. You can put notes in the notes app but that's about it. So if you are just good with the basics and signal, then this device is a good alternative if you want to go very minimal into a lifestyle change. But for $379, I want you to listen to me. And this one goes for the old MPC or two users. Old MPC or two users, you may not get the upgraded operating system, but they have promised or they have said that they're going to deliver better usability for Pigeon. This is definitely possible and I hope that they do that because the track record right now is broken with Punked. They have very good reliability in the first two years. They released version 1.7, they released version 2.0 and 2.1 and they seem to be in a good track but all of a sudden it was radio silence and now they released the new MP02 and with the new MP02 they're not going to be updating the old generation. So because they're not going to be updating the old generation, it's kind of like a little bit of a slap in the face. Now, I understand it's business. It's how it works. You should never buy a device for what it promises, but for, for, for what it can do. And it's kind of a little bit of a bummer. So if you don't have an MP02, this device may be for you. If you have an MP02, there's no need to upgrade. If anything, I think, this is just my opinion, Punk maybe should offer an incentive to trade in the old MP02s for the new generations maybe half the price for the loyalty or something like that, just because it's a little bit of a bummer that you have a device out there that looks identically to yours, but you're not able to update or have. So maybe a little bit of an incentive. I'm pretty sure they'll be able to refurbish or flash the firmware of the new operating system into the old devices or something like that. I don't know. It's just a thought for Punked, and maybe we'll be able to ask them that and what is going to come in January. So we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. So this device is for those of you who want a complete lifestyle change, you're okay with just the basics and nothing else. And lastly, of course, um, this device is not if you're trying to transition fully and not have any issues. It, it does have a couple of issues. It does not have group text messaging. So if you rely on those for work, do not get the MP02. It's a good device. I really enjoyed using it. I'm going to keep using it for work. So I'm really excited to have it, a more reliable device for work. Um, and here it's global compatible. So, so it's, it's a good thing. Now, Punked is going to be doing a live stream with me now in January. We're going to give you more details about that. And we're going to be asking some of the good questions and some of the tough questions. So make sure to comment your questions down below. We're going to be also be giving away a Punked MP02. I'm already giving away my, my Punked MP02 old generation um, because I'm keeping the new one. And if you want to use the old one, I'll be sending it to, to the lucky winner that signed up for the giveaway. And then we're gonna be giving away another new generation Punk MP02. So stay tuned to the channel, stay subscribed, and make sure to comment your questions about this device or any questions that you have and for the future live stream that we're gonna have with Punk. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the support this year. Cannot wait to see you next year with new devices and new things. I'm really excited about what 2022 is going to bring. So see you next time, hopefully in the new studio.